I got this kit for my birthday. My girlfriend gave me this generous present and this card came along with it. Since I've got two dogs, this is a very wise sentence. I'm excited and humble at the same time. I never expected to have 400 subscribers when I started releasing videos on my channel. There'll be a giveaway when I cross the magical number of 500 subs. I'll only show the top of the box because this is actually the box art. The sides show the usual stuff and we all saw this a thousand times before. I like the picture although it doesn't mean much. All the important things are underneath this drawing. And here we have it, a box full of plastic. It looks almost intimidating and I haven't even opened the cellophane bag yet. Front and back of the instructions booklet come in full color print. MiniArt gives us a broad variety of paint manufacturers like they do on the figure kits. I really appreciate that because not all paints are available everywhere. The advertising placards can be cut out and used on the tram's roof like you see here. And this is the huge pile of styrene you get. All sprues are packed in only one bag. This is not how I like it to be because parts may get damaged, but let's wait and see. First let's take a look at the dio bays. The cobblestone looks very realistic and the rays are nicely molded. But there are many of these little pins. I guess it can't be avoided because this base is vacuum formed. If you want to remove them, they have to be filled from the underside first. If you don't, you'll end up with hundreds of tiny holes. These are the masks for the overhead cable. I won't use the wrought iron type. They look more like early 20th century. I'll go for the straight version. The parts look very nice and as you'll see in this video, there isn't much flash to remove. What really impressed me is this injection molded coil spring. 19 sprue gates, but for me it's a miracle. This sprue comes four times. I'm not a tram engineer and so I could only guess what some parts are. There are many very delicate parts and it won't be easy to cut them off the sprue. I'll probably cut out each part of the sprue and then cut off these parts carefully using a sharp blade. That's how I usually do it because then there's less tension or stress on the part. These grab handles and other tiny parts show how well detailed this kit is. I hope I won't feed the carpet monster too much. The wheels show a little bit of flesh, but that's no big deal. These sprues carry lots of parts for the undercarriage. These are the lights for the inside of the tram. The chassis features lovely bolts and there's a lot of room for washes and weathering. And here we have some parts for the superstructure and the suspension. More parts for the superstructure and the interior. On the benches we find some flesh, but this and the wheels were all I could find. All other parts have no flesh and only hardly visible seam lines. These are tools the driver needs to switch points. And parts for the driver's compartment.
roof and floor parts and one side panel of the tram. I like the floor panel with a fine wooden beam structure. That'll look nice after a wash and some dry brushing. These side panels on the roof are really nicely molded. I hope fit is as good as the parts look. Many, many parts for the undercarriage, and they all come twice. At least I know what these are. We are looking at the brakes. These parts are mounted on front and rear ends of the roof. They show the direction the tram goes. I won't use them because they weren't mounted on the trams of the city in which my model and Dio will be settled. Only the clear parts come in an extra bag. As far as I can see they look very nice. Look how thin they are. Since I'll have to create and print my own decals I can only judge these from what I can see through the plastic bag. They appear to be in register nicely printed. The instructions start with a sprue map, which is always nice. I like the way the instructions are printed and I saw a worse example just recently. One thing I noticed are steps 7 and 8. Here we have parts from several sprues. I don't like that because I prefer to have all parts for one step on one sprue. I don't want to talk too much about things you can see for yourself. Although there's no PE included in this kit, the amount of tiny parts is huge. Where many other manufacturers would have produced some parts in PE, Mini Art has finely molded delicate plastic parts. I've seen and built much worse kits and this should be fun. It'll take me months to build it but I don't care, I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> 